It's still waiting. We are live. Okay, perfect. Hello, friends. How are you? Uh, if you can um, see me and hear me clearly, we had some difficulty, technical difficulties, which we have got it sorted out. So, if yes or no, if you can put it on the chat, that would really help. I think so. We have live now, right? Okay, so let me just share my screen uh, and then we get started. Let me just share my PPT and you let me know once you're able to see the PPT. So, Achka agenda hai, how do I catch long term tops and bottoms? This is the most important thing that I have learned over a period of time. How to catch how do I use, uh, you know, certain indicators to catch long term tops and bottoms? Last time hum log ne jo tha, we learned about how to catch the short term, uh, you know, tops and the bottoms using an RSI, which is like long uh, short term in nature. But here I'm going to talk about how do I catch for the long term tops and bottoms. So let's understand this. What is important thing in your strategy mein is lessons from the history. What is the lesson that you are learning from the history and technical analysis is nothing but learning from the history. It is it is basically tells you uh, in terms of like, uh, you know, ke history mein jo hua hai, there is a very high probability that it will happen in the future. And that's what technical analysis is also all about. Now, another thing that we are going to talk about, we are going to do uh, something called as a, my favorite indicator for finding the uh, you know tops and the bottoms using an indicator called as MACD and which is also called as moving average conversion divergence and I'm sure many of you uh, many of you have used this indicator quite uh, well apne apne trading strategy mein aap use bhi karte rahoge, lekin this is a different way or although there is a way of doing this a uh, lot of textbook talks about it but I have found it Mujhe ye indicator ki ye jo method hai, find karne ki jo long term tops and bottoms find karne ki jo ek method hai, has been really helpful to me and it helped me to predict 2020 crash uh, and obviously although 2021 ka jo wish shape reversal tha, we missed out on that but at least aapke 10 reversal mein se wo 7 se 8 reversal aapko catch karne mein madad karta hai how to use this setup even for intraday we can use this uh, setup for our intraday uh, thing as well Okay, so how many of you believe the history repeats itself, uh, but it often rhymes? Okay, मतलब history repeat होती है, लेकिन वो exactly same reason से repeat नहीं होती है. There are days where history is repeated in a way where, like I'll give you a simple example. 1992 में there was some other reason. 1929 was a crash. 1987 was a crash. 2000 dot com bubble was a crash. Then 2008, subprime crisis, 2020, the COVID crisis. Now, these are the places where the kind of market crashed. The reasons were different. The reasons were different for all the time. But the way the market behaved, the market ne behavior kiya tha was exactly the same. Nothing changed. And if you don't believe me, let, let me just take you an example. 1929 was the year when the industrial revolution before that it started out the you know the prices kept on going up and up and up the dow theory dow jones just kept on going up and everybody believed that the market can only go up then after a point of time there was a euphoria in the market there was a euphoria prices dip then made another correction or uske baad jo crash aya there there was the first big major crash that any of the industry like stock market has seen Matlab, itne saalo mein, itna bada crash bought time ke baad dekha tha. i think so the first documented crash in the history was tulip mania which was in like you know early 19th or late 1800 where uh, newton nevi dala tha. Lekin the first stock market crash happened around 1929 
okay then there was a, another major crash came almost 50 years later and it was 1987 and if you look at this chart the market was also again in an uptrend 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 and then started making a lower top lower bottom formation and a crash now 1929 or 1987 mein farak 50 saal ka hai okay maybe more than that but if you want to see them together can you see the behavior of the prices of the dow jones almost identical almost identical price movement in 1929 high tops bottoms high tops higher bottoms high tops higher bottoms and then all of a sudden started making lower top lower bottom and a major crash came once the previous swing was broken mind you prior to that there was a complete bull run same thing happened in 1987 market was making high tops higher bottom everything was looking fine lekin agar aap ye chart dekhoge तो जैसे ही उसने अपना एक प्रीवियस स्विंग बॉटम को क्रैक किया इट हेड अ मेजर क्रैश सो हिस्ट्री डज नॉट रिपीट इट सेल्फ एग्जैक्टली मे बी द रीजन वुड बी डिफरेंट बट द वे ह्यूमन बिहेवियर काइंड ऑफ डू द वर्क विल बी द सेम ओके नाउ 2008, एवरीबडी रिमेंबर्स द क्रैश ऑफ अ 2008, थाउजेंड yes. it also had a similar kind of structure market was making high tops higher bottoms high tops higher bottom all of a sudden that was breached and then we had a downfall so this is what we learn from the history to hum log ek 2020 ka bhi scenario le lete hain okay again similar kind of thing and this is what really helped me to predict the 2020 crash If you would have, I'm going to show you something interesting. That 2020 crash, which was, it also depicted similar characteristics of similar characteristic of 2008 crash. How? The market was also making higher tops, higher bottom, making higher tops, higher bottom, making higher tops. A breakdown, a break of that, and a crash on the downward side. Now, if I really want to learn from the history. Now this is what I have learned from the history. यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कि Nifty ने high tops, higher bottoms, higher tops, higher bottoms बना रहे and then all of a sudden there was a crack and then there was a downward movement. Similarly, 2020 में high tops, higher bottom, high tops, higher bottom. Although there was a lower, a little lower bottom, but almost if you have ignored this day, it would have been uh, you know a same bottom, but a lower top, and then it cracked. in between and this is what the market structure the behavior of the market remains the same jo human tendency hai jo traders hote hai jo unki psychology hoti hai same hoti hai iske liye they will keep on repeating the same stuff again and again and again and again greed and fear sabko hota hai so this is how i am going to kind of uh, you know compare the 2008 and 2020 now I am going to use an indicator called as MACD, Moving Average Convergent Divergence. Now, this is one of the most powerful indicator. And interestingly, when I was in New York uh, about just before the Corona in 2018, I, I remember clearly, uh, Mr. Gerald Appel was there, and he was nominated as a Lifetime Contribution Award from CMT. and it was very interesting to meet him and the founder of an indicator and his son talked about how their firm uses macd the indicator that has been developed by his father aur unhone bahut sare applications bana bataye ki how are they using macd and one of the most used way of their macd is basically through bullish and bearish divergence and what is this bullish and a bearish divergence is basically nothing but to capture the market to capture the momentum of the uh, of the uh, what do you call it stock or the index okay although it is a trend following momentum indicator macd turns two moving averages trend following method into a momentum oscillator by subtracting a longer moving average from the shorter one matlab ye basically ye jo indicator hai it helps you 
टू कैप्चर द मोमेंटम वट डू आई मीन बाई मोमेंटम अगर फाइव और ट्वेंटी डेज की मूविंग एवरेजेस का क्रॉस ओवर होता है एंड इफ द मार्केट स्टार्ट गोइंग अप मच फास्टर द शॉर्ट टर्म फाइव पीरियड मूविंग एवरेज विल मूव मच फास्टर वेर एस ट्वेंटी डेज मूविंग एवरेज विल टेक सम टाइम and all of a sudden the difference between the two will keep on expanding and that's why it is called as a trend following momentum indicator it is also called as an unbounded oscillator because agar aap rsi because agar aap stochastic agar aap cci channel le rahe ho they can go between 0 to 100 they cannot they cannot have a different uh, they cannot go below 0 they cannot go above 100 that's why they are bounded बट इन एम एस डी इट कैन गो एनी वेयर मतलब वो हंड्रेड भी जा सकता है टू हंड्रेड भी जा सकता है बिकॉज इट इज नथिंग बट अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ शॉर्ट टर्म मूविंग एवरेज एंड अ लॉन्ग टर्म मूविंग एवरेज सो इट्स एन अनबाउंडेड ऑसिलेटर रिप्रेजेंट अप ट्रेंड वेन इट्स वैल्यू इज अबाउ जीरो जब भी एम एस सी डी अबाउ जीरो लाइन है इट इज एन एन अप ट्रेंड एंड जब भी वो अपने जीरो लाइन के नीचे इट इज कॉल इज डाउन ट्रेंड ना lot of my favorite way of using this indicator i'm going to teach you that okay looking for tops aur mujhe tops pakadne zyada acche lagte hai kyunki i am i like to short the market a, a lot so sabse pehle to divergences kya hote hai pehle wo samajhte hai see simple sa divergence uh, agar aap gaadi mein chalate ho to accelerator hota hai aur ek momentum hota hai or the direction and the momentum now assuming aap koi hill station pe ja rahe ho aur aapki gaadi full speed pe upar ja rahi hai बिकॉज आपने एक्सीटर दबा के रखा हुआ है योर कार इज गोइंग अप 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 ऑल ऑफ अ सडन फॉर फन आपने एक्सीटर से पैर हटा दिया ओके okay? आपने एक्सीटर से पैर हटा दिया तो आपका क्या हुआ ये जो गाड़ी है वो ऑलरेडी चल तो रहेगा इट विल कीप ऑन गोइंग अप एंड अप एंड अप बट आफ्टर अ पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज देर इज नो एक्सेलरेशन द मोमेंटम गाइस रिमेंबर दिस वर्ड द मोमेंटम इज गोन टू यू नो टेपर ऑफ धीरे धीरे मोमेंटम कम होना चालू हो जाता है आफ्टर अ पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आपकी कार रुक जाएंगी एंड आफ्टर दैट द कार विल स्टार्ट कमिंग डाउन सो व्हेन यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ टॉप यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द डिरेक्शन एंड यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द मोमेंटम दीज आर द टू वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन योर ट्रेडिंग ओके दीज आर दू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स in your trading when the prices are going up but the oscillator is going down that is called as a negative divergence and that is where you are going to look for a top reversal looking for a top and this is a very important uh, place where uh, you know i want you to pay attention to so let's take this one okay what does i what do i mean by trading divergences pehle to usko dekh lete kya hua market was making a new top new top new top new top new top you would have assumed that the macd should also make a new top agar yahan pe ek example le lete hum log macd or price ka top macd or price ka top so market made a new top then the visa vis the previous top also macd made a new top market made a new top okay the macd also made a new top so if you can see the comparison between the two okay if you can see the comparison between the two uh, it tells you that this is uh, in a momentum the stock is in a momentum or the index is in a momentum but all of a sudden what started happening all of a sudden you can see ke price is upar ja raha hai but the momentum with which it was going up it is going not going up wapis upar aaya it made a new high what did macd do it actually made a new low prices again went up okay what did the macd do it actually made a new low now this is the reason which will tell you ki okay uske baad jab bhi ye price mein crack aaya you see a big fall happens in the market now not all the time this divergences will play out there are false uh, divergences as well but what my experience have taught me ki out of 10 times when you try to trade on this one seven times 
you know you will be successful there have been times where you will be unsuccessful as well so ye to hum log ne samajh liya ki ki ye divergence hote lekin usko trade kaise karenge hum log so let's see how we can trade this bearish divergence first you saw that okay price is made a new high yahan pe price ne top banaya price ne yahan pe top banaya but macd ne naya low banaya to what will i do i will figure out ki ki ye swing top ये जो स्विंग था फर्स्ट सेकंड स्विंग उसका ओरिजिनेशन कहां से हुआ है यहां से दिस स्विंग दिस स्विंग बॉटम गेव द ओरिजिनेशन टू दिस स्विंग राइट एंड वेयर डज दिस पर्टिकुलर स्विंग टॉप स्टार्टेड इट्स ओरिजिनेशन फ्रॉम इट्स फ्रॉम यर इफ यू कैन सी एम एस सी डी क्रॉस ओवर यर एंड दिस वॉज दॉटम सो एज अ ट्रेडर टू ड्रॉ अ ट्रेंड लाइन आई एक्चुअली नीड ओनली टू पॉइंट राइट so draw draw a trend line i need a two points so one is the swing bottom over here and this is my first swing bottom so what if i can draw a trend line connecting this bottom interestingly it connected this one connected this one also connected previous drop okay but the momentum was dying momentum dheere dheere kam ho raha tha agar aap dekhoge to hum log ne yahan se jo trend line draw ki thi that got violated here so at the end of this trend line when there was a closing we will wait for a closing once there is a closing we will confirm ke ye jo bullish trend line thi that has got violated this bullish trend line has got violated now apna kaam kya hai We can only manage the risk. We cannot anticipate कि ये कितना बड़ा fall आएगा. Okay, we cannot. But our job is to manage the risk. So what is the previous swing high? The previous swing high was standing somewhere around here. So that becomes my stop loss. And if I want to keep my target, I can put one is to two, one is to three, one is to four types target, whatever is comfortable from my risk management point of view. So whenever there is a breakdown. after a bearish divergence because why i am calling a bearish divergence prices are going up but the mscd is going down so you put a stop loss at the last swing high what happens your stop loss gets triggered and as i told you that not every time this will happen okay there there will be times where this bearish divergence or a bullish divergence will fail there is no holy grail there is no 100% ठीक है, बट यू टू कैस्ट ऑफ प्लस बट एट दैट सेम टाइम यू चेक अगेन के भाई वेदर आई एम मेकिंग अ न्यू हाई बिकॉज हियर यू कैन सी द प्राइज इज एक्चुअली मेड अ लिटिल हायर बट इफ यू सी दी एस सी डी एम एस सी डी इज एक्चुअली शोइंग लोअर लेवल नाउ वॉट एपन यर आई ड्रॉ अनदर ट्रेंड लाइन बिकॉज दिस वॉज द स्विंग बॉटम Where was the last swing started from? ये जो last swing थी मेरी कहाँ से start हुई? My last swing started from this bottom. And where did my first swing started from? This bottom. तो मैंने क्या किया? मेरी trend line को adjust की. Now there are a lot of people who will say कि why are you adjusting the trend line? The answer to that question is because when the market moves, your trend lines will get violated sometime or the other. So you have to capture and there is nothing wrong in that. बिकॉज अगर आप एक ट्रेंड लाइन लेके रखते हो और वो अच्छी चल रही तो वेरी एंड गुड जब अगर वो वायलेट हो जाती है यू कैन ऑल्सो कीप दैम फॉर अ फ्यूचर सपोर्ट एंड रेजिस्टेंस बट फॉर दिस बाय बेरिश डाइवर्जेंस और बुरिश डाइवर्जेंस सेटअप यू वॉन्ट टू री काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म दी ट्रेंड लाइन सो यहाँ पे मैंने देखा कि लास्ट बेरिश डाइवर्जेंस वॉज बिल्ट ईयर बिकॉज इट वॉज अ न्यू हाई बट दी एम एस सी डी मेड अ न्यू लो ओके okay, तो उसका जो बॉटम था ये एम के टॉप का स्टार्ट हुआ था स्विंग बॉटम ये और ये जो मेरा फर्स्ट डाइवर्जेंस का पॉइंट स्टार्ट हुआ था यहाँ से नो व्हेन आई ड्रॉ अ ट्रेंड लाइन नो व्हेन आई ड्रू अ ट्रेंड लाइन कनेक्टिंग दिस बॉटम्स ओके एंड देन देर वाज अ क्लोज बिलो दिस ट्रेंड लाइन नंबर आई टोल यू क्लोज वेर शुड आई पुट माई स्टॉप लॉस जस्ट अब दिस स्विंग हाई ओके I can put it over here. I can put it over here. Uh, depending on your risk management, I'm going to put it at the swing high because this was also a fractal high. Now let's see what happened. 
we break breached the swing high not triggered and then we had a 2008 fall why this big fall because it's not because it uh, was something like a subprime crisis the momentum was dying down and there was a reason unko ek reason chahiye tha ek catalyst chahiye tha to break the momentum kyunki momentum was clearly dying down and this was the result of the fall now let's study another uh, crash for the long term where you know i think everybody remember this crash uh, is recent as recent as 2020 what happened to the prices prices making a new high prices making a new high i'm assuming that the mscd should also make a new high if you can see this top and this mscd top and this top and this they are in congruence matlab prices bad rahe mscd bad raha hai lekin abhi यहाँ पे प्राइजिस बढ़ रहे प्राइजिस इज गोइंग अप लेकिन व्हाट इज हैपनिंग टू दी एमएसडी और द मोमेंटम इज एक्चुअली गोइंग डाउन प्राइजिस मेड अ न्यू टॉप प्राइजिस मेड अ न्यू टॉप बट योर एमएसडी स्टिल मेड अ न्यू लो प्राइजिस मेड अनदर न्यू टॉप बट व्हाट एमएसडी डिड मेड अनदर न्यू लो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल इज अ क्लासिकल बैरिश डाइवर्जेंस एंड अगर ये इंडेक्स में आपको दिख रहा है तो डोंट टेक इट लाइटली और मल्टीपल टाइम दिख रहा है एंड दैट इज अ गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट मार्केट विल करेक्ट इट सेल्फ मार्केट विल हैव अ टाइम करेक्शन और इट विल हैव अ प्राइस करेक्शन ना वेन यू सी दिस प्राइस इज गोइंग अप एंड दिस इज गोइंग डाउन वॉट वुड यू डू ओके लेट्स डू दिस दिस स्विंग स्टार्टेड द फर्स्ट डाइवर्जन स्विंग स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम दिस बॉटम and the last swing started uh, swing uh, you know the swing high started from this swing bottom as you can see over here so as a trader what should i do i will connect i will connect the two swing lows and once there is a close below this trend line which was in this case here 12000 where should i put my stop loss just above the swing high it closed below this it did not hardly went up but did not trigger my stop loss came down and i remember this was the budget day this was the budget day and then there, after that there was a, just a reversal one way reversal okay because that day there was a big budget announcement and the, uh, after that first of feb it had a recovery but did not trigger your stop losses and then the corona thing started coming out that the prices and everything is cracking now this is a very important learning for you to check कभी भी कोई इंडेक्स में जब भी आप ये क्लासिकल बैरिश डाइवर्जेंस देखते हो और नॉट वन टाइम टू टाइम अगर तीन बार होता ही है इफ यू कैन सी वन टू थ्री द फॉल आफ्टर दैट व्हाट वी हैव सीन पर्सनली द फॉल आफ्टर दैट इज क्वाइट सब्सटेंशियल इट जस्ट क्रैक्स अ बिग टाइम सो दैट्स वाई इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू दैट्स वाई इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू कीप अ ट्रैक ऑफ दिस थिंग Let's take another example. Okay, let's take another example of Dow Jones. Similarly, on 2020, you can see the prices were going up, up, up. Okay, the divergence were actually not uh, signifying that. Because here, here, a negative divergence was happening. What would you do? This swing bottom was starting. This swing top was starting. This bottom was. And basically, this was the swing. The last swing, which was high, was made. It started from here. so once there was a closing below this trend line it was a very good indication for you that the market is almost near the top not always and there will be times it will uh, you know it will can fail also but this is how we can imagine ki mujhe ek naya long term top ya long term bottom catch karna hai so how can i do that agar hum log ne sikha hai ki ke bhai uh बुलिश बैरिश डाइवर्जेंस है तो बुलिश डाइवर्जेंस भी होगा अगर मार्केट का टॉप पकड़ना है तो एवरीबडी इज इंटरेस्टेड कि भाई मार्केट इतना घुस रहा है अभी सो व्हेन कैन वी बाय एंड दैट्स वेयर यू विल यूज समथिंग कॉल इज अ बुलिश डाइवर्जेंस एज वेल इफ यू लुक एट दिस बुलिश डाइवर्जेंस अ बुलिश डाइवर्जेंस इज द पैटर्न दैट अकर्स व्हेन द प्राइसेस फॉल्स टू अ लोअर लोस व्हाइल द टेक्निकल इंडिकेटर व्हिच इज अ हायर लोस एंड लुकिंग फॉर अ बॉटम Now let's take this as an example of 
bullish divergence if you can look at this divergence it's a very classical interesting chart and it is the 2008 ke baad ka crash now if you see over here the prices were almost making double bottom or triple bottom ek ke baad ek ke baad ek wo bottom banaya ja raha tha so i would have assumed that the macd will also make a new bottom but which it did not it actually made a new high so if you can see over here one two three every time the price is took a support every time the price is took a support but the macd was actually making a new bottoms now what you can do as a trader where did this swing started from this swing started from this particular top and this particular swing started from almost this top so as a trader as a trader i will connect this dot and this dot and fire a trend line connecting the tops and once i connect the top there is a breakout from this and that's where we we, we will enter the market where should i put my stop loss uh, that's where i'm going to put my stop loss just below this swing low and this is where i am going to capture my entire move on the upside so now with this uh, you know today there was some technical issue i'm going to try my level best if i can uh, answer your questions and i can see your questions if you have any let me just look at see if i have any questions on this right now so i'm open to any questions if you have any questions so looks like there are no questions uh, i'm going to close the webinar today thank you for attending the same